Lovely sky comes. Designer shops. Fifty percent off. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, interesting. Normally the rubbish are put outside all of Oxford Street in this area. I used to walk in Mayfair, the same thing, they put all the rubbish outside. And the uh, rubbish guy comes at 7 or 8 o'clock to collect. So from Oxford Street onto Regent Street, walk through, and we found ourselves in a Soho walkthrough. Ah, enjoy. Maybe we get out of this area and, and then a cup of tea costs like about seven, eight quid. I'm serious. This the ridiculous prices out here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe that. It's full. Up. It's full up because it's cheap. Comparatively cheap, anyway. And now we are on Okay. Can be sweet.
Yeah. Back sign is the front that I choose from. But that's not where the 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 the, the, the shot comes out of here. So this yeah. is what happens. If you want to see what ahead, where do you look? Yeah, but that's not what the point I'm making is when you shoot it, this is where it comes from. I the want front. To see you can see. Okay. You can't see. You have to but, touch the screen. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that if the screen is not showing that it's off, it's just saving battery. You're wasting more battery with it showing. Because it's showing on the back. That's a little house. That's a very good car on the road for 47,000. 47,000 for one watch? That's what I'm talking about. Soho. Oh, you want to go see Soho? Well, I can only go to those areas because I'm with you. But if I'm not with you, I don't. I won't go to it. So it's, it's like area for <laughs> if I'm with you I'm not heading them kind of way though. And then we can come out and go this way. renowned Soho you know, I wanted to know what it looks like well I come only on this street because I got my girl with me man I don't do Soho at all nah -uh. no sir <laughs> but we're here yes but what do I know about this place man but it is Soho and here we are Not quite a walk through y'all might expect. It's all very decent on the outside. But who knows what goes on behind this here closed doors, man. I don't know, I don't wanna know. Hey, Timberland, the world-renowned Timberland. Okay. Shops. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Fifty percent of Oh, that's uh that's uh interesting. Normally the rubbish are put outside all of Oxford Street in this area. I used to walk in Mayfair, the same thing, they put all the rubbish outside. And the rubbish guy comes at 7 or 8 o'clock to collect. So from Oxford Street onto Regent Street, walk through and we found ourselves in a Soho walkthrough. Ah, enjoy. Maybe we get out of this area and, and then a cup of tea costs like about seven, eight quid. I'm serious. This, the ridiculous prices out here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe that. It's full up. It's full up because it's cheap. Comparatively cheap, anyway.
Hmm? Okay. The back spine is the front I choose for. But that's not where the the, 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 the shot comes out of here. So this yeah. is what happens. If you want to see what's ahead, where do you look? Yeah, but that's not what the point I'm making is when you shoot it, this is where it comes from. I the front. You can see. Okay. You can't see. You have to but, tap the screen. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that if the screen is not showing that it's off, it's just saving battery. You're wasting more battery with it showing. Because it's showing on the back and it's showing on the front. So if you don't need to actually see it and you're making a long recording, you just let it go off. It's saving you. If I say recording, as long as the light's on. So these are the back streets behind Upward Circus. around here. I suppose you've had enough filming then. We might have to take a bus back to where we want to go. Okay. Well, at least come out of the rain for a minute. Come here. Canton Street and Marshall Street. We're going out in there, they'll let you, and that's great. I'll wait for you out here, okay? No, but you have to eat something. Um, Maybe we can share. Yeah? Okay. Modern Indian street food, we say very crispy, yeah. jalebi. Putting white on the shoes is not going to taste um, 
Bata combined with small plates showcase. Uh, what's your one it is? We go inside, we ask for chips. Want. Not in the spice mustard. Yeah, just something that allows me to use the toilet. Let's go. Two vegetable pasties, yellow spicy, home baked, caramelized. Uh huh, okay. We can order that. Of course. I'll oh, switch it off. Leave it on until they actually act it to switch it off. I'm going to leave mine on. Backwards. That's the way it was to be able to film forward. But now you put it on time last week. You've got to be careful with what you're pressing. This is Masala Zone, a really good restaurant that we found in the West End. Guys, check it out. The prices are really good, especially from where it is. And this is probably one of the kindest people that I've met. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank you. you. My name is Jay Joel. I'm Rugen as well. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Yes, yes, yes. All right. God bless you. Have a good, happy new year. Happy new year. Okay. All right. raining cats and dogs but we come through for our subscribers seven minutes to Oxford okay let's do it what where are we heading This would follow to wherever we're going. So is this road this one? This Wait, is let's just see where we're going. So if we go in this one. Yeah. And then turn, turn when we get to Alright, let's just walk. We'll see if it's if it's getting closer to where we want or further from where we want. So we want Ghana Ghana B road. Dank dairy day today at Babalach. I'm walking to it. In fact, this is Oxford Street. Hmm? Yeah, I got it, I got it, don't worry about it. And it's busy as usual. Well, I'm going to uh, let you soak up the atmosphere. Perfectly. Oh, the lights are switched off. They probably switch it on at night and they're trying to save money in the daytime. Now that New Year's Day is finished, Christmas Day is finished. Yeah, the council's trying to save money. But it's still the good old Oxford Street, the aftermath. After Christmas and New Year, this is what it looks like. And guys, you're coming with me on a walkthrough on Oxford Street one of the most famous, internationally famous streets 
in the world. This is Marble Arch Station and a walk through from here leads so this is Oxford Street as well straight into the heart of Oxford Street now these shops are normally for tourists they're normally very expensive so if you're a tourist and you come into London try not to shop at Oxford Street there are many other places you can find things that are just equally as nice but not as expensive as Oxford Street you come here to look see what you want unless you can't buy it anywhere else it's way too expensive for the average job but we do expensive so that's good for the rest of you all with money this is the place to be you get all your bling the gucci your versace your designer everything more besides some of the most bespoke designer fashion is out here so and here we have sales up to 80% off which is pretty good 80% means uh, do you want to have a look Let's have a quick window shop in here <laughs> so if 500 is only 20% wow that's what I'm talking about and then yeah, and summers. Something for the wife. Bespoke. Everything you think you might like. Oxford Street for y'all. Yeah. This is a long walk. Don't come on this walk with a full stomach it will stop you a little bit it's a beautiful walk melting pot for all of humanity right here on this street internationally renowned the must see if you're not a Londoner especially if you're a tourist stay here long enough it will give you lots to talk about and I missed all of that wealth. You still have people begging. We haven't got because people got money out here. And uh, in that is shame. But that's like, yo, be proactive with yours. Get up, do something. Stand up for yourself. Show up for yourself. Make this content on a daily basis. That's how you're going to roll up to whatever level you're looking to get to just give yourself time and practice delayed gratification what you want will not be yours today unless you invest time in your audience time in yourself get up get out make it work i think that's that's going to be our catchphrase phrase now make it work something for the wife show up every day see what you could find of interest to your audience what's your niche what is it you do dunes the famous dunes the shoes all right then you have River Island, all the designer shops, big designer shops out here. If you're into your bling, this is the place to be. If you just love seeing people, this is the place to be. You want to just hang out in London and see what's happening? It gets no more Oxford Street than this. But we're taking a break from shooting nighttime content, so I hope you all appreciate. Now we're shooting a little bit more daylight content for natural light. But here normally it's lit up at night, just not today. So we came out early for you because it gets dark early in London. By five o'clock, it'll be very dark. So in London, 
got things to do with daylight, you get up and you get it done early. Yeah, this is the season where we have very little daylight and nighttime comes very quickly. Change of seasons. By now you guys are used to me having to talk to you while I'm going through my walkthroughs. But sometimes it's better to just let you suck it up without having to strain to hear what I'm saying. The noise out here is incredible. But that's what y'all came out to see. At the extreme eyes. That's how we do. And also, be very careful that you you watch out for your surroundings and keep your wallet somewhere safe because there are lots of pickpockets on Oxford Street, normally international pickpockets. Um, but hey, just uh, be aware of your surrounding. Make sure your mobile phone and your cash and valuables are secured within your inner garments. Button over it, zip it over and don't flash your bling someone is watching however this is the most watched street on the planet we are the most watched nation on earth so you'll be safe till the police gets involved at least most perpetrators of anything on these streets never get too far without the camera catching something of their activity which is good should make you feel protected and safe. Yeah. And at the busy hours, normally you find a police vehicle around here for quick response. So, in spite of what I said, come over to London and feel safe. And do your shopping. Do what you got to do. But if you need daylight, it's already getting dark. You show up early and you use what little daylight there is to do what you gotta do. some of the oldest streets and I've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years it just evolved over time but it's still the same Oxford Street Come around after the shops over there. We go right there. Yeah. Right. yeah. I know you came especially for oh, the lights. Oh, how about that? Do you want to stay on the road? Yeah. Cool. Go find your dad. Yeah, 
مال شيباني؟ خلاص ياو There's consistency, consistency, that's all it Maybe is. Maybe you got a little money for the one thousand. Then it's consistency. Yeah. Like my, my camera is rolling right now. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You will edit. Reality reality TV, everything is okay. It's all content. Yeah, by the way. Everything is <laughs> everything is okay. Yeah. When you start <laughs> looking for a way to make it work, it becomes yeah. a bit, you know, too si um, two dimensional. Yeah. But if you just live your life with the camera rolling, mm. things will happen. Some will be magical, some will be boring, but that's life. That's and life. And that's why it's reality TV. And you haven't got to really focus on one thing. Yeah. You know, YouTube is sort of a, a side hustle. It's a side hustle. You don't focus all your energy there. The reality of your life is still carrying on. Yeah. You know. All right. And the, one thing I've realized, make videos that can be watched even years to come. Absolutely, yeah. evergreen content, which yeah. is, it's nothing in particular, it's not necessarily trending, but you you showed up. It's something that can be watched even 10 years from now. Yeah. It will still be, you know, good content. See, what I, what I show my people is that your life in itself is the brand. Yeah. So if you're looking for anything to add to it, let it just happen as it were yeah. rather than trying to create something yeah. you know if people want that kind of content yeah. they could watch hollywood mm -hmm. they could watch bollywood nollywood and 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 all the woods in between you know like there are some songs that are forever trending yeah or some movies that are like that movie yeah I can watch so many times absolutely and still watch it even after 10 years that's right so but if you if you let's say you make a christmas and say oh this is a christmas party yeah and then the christmas is over mm. people might not want to watch that christmas okay they might maybe no but you're making a good point if yeah. you if you make christmas content yeah now christmas is over, over. nobody yeah. would want to watch it yeah because that was christmas right it's like the christmas lights yeah you know you move on oh we are in july who wants to watch christmas lights not many not many <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's over and done with already so before you know what, it yeah that's what i was uh, that's right talking about you yeah. know, watching something that educative maybe something that remains there to be watched mm. maybe things to do with uh, content that's more like educate education yeah you are teaching something oh. and i think that i should think of ways of how i can teach you're doing very well actually with your reaction to yeah? certain <laughs> you don't have to give too much at the same time but yeah. while you're actually recording something that people might take a long time to find themselves yeah. they're grateful because they came to your channel yeah. and they know you find them these nice little nuggets of information yeah that would take them hours to trudge yeah. to find themselves yeah and you serve it up yeah that is beautiful it is is what i try to do for my people mm -hmm. you know give them something mm. that would take them a long time to find themselves mm. but you know people have no 
time to go to Google to yes. find things out. And even when they do, yeah. they're not quite sure of it. So it's almost by going it's almost like going by recommendation. Yeah. You recommend that this is good, this is something you need to know. If you don't know now you do. It's like uh, checking what's trending. Yeah. If you know what's trending and what people are talking about. Yeah. That's that's yeah. And there's a chance that you might be watched because you're talking about something that's trending. That's you know? right, that's right. And uh, there's so many ways of You know, it's like the news. Mm. If you do news for today... It's gone by tomorrow. It's gone by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. The way I tackle the news is I look for a weighty issue and make a documentary out of it. Yeah. Then it stands by itself mm -hmm. and it deals with a particular issue, yeah. solves a problem, yeah. or informs a person yeah. in an evergreen way that next year yeah. you're still informed. Yeah. But it's not just news about what's happening today. Yeah. Because today has gone very quickly. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, but, news. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, those that do that um, dedicate all the time to doing that, but yeah. you, like in my case, have a life to live, mm -hmm. uh, a family to look after, mm -hmm. and very little time between work and the rest of what you have to do. Yeah. You on the fly have to create your content as you go along because that's a must do, that's a job too. Yeah. Uh, so I don't allow excuses on my channel for my subscribers that actually want to learn content from me. Mm -hmm. Content is your life. So you live it and you create that content as you go along. You all hear me? So that's about content. How y'all doing this morning? Hope you had a great night and having a beautiful 2024 and your 2024 is as blessed as you know you'll step forward to collect because it's already been promised so how are you stepping forward today my people yeah what are you doing today to bring forward that promise and blessing that god has already blessed you with out of bed yet? Think about your business of YouTubing? Good. We'll keep it up. All right. I'm going to stop in a little bit, but for your benefit, I'll keep this going for a bit more. So, yeah, Christmas was good, I, I trust, and your new year will equally be as good. So my train's getting here. I'm gonna have to get on that train. So you'll have to excuse me if I rush a little bit. Here comes the train. Yeah, it's coming. In fact. That becomes more crowded. If we go this way, we sit at the back of the bus, a train. It's less crowded this way. You can't see the front either. Okay. Go on. You don't have the time. By the time you finish, the train will be here. Oh, okay. If you stay here, we'll have the escalators. So, about showing up, everything in your life shows up as soon as you take action. And remember guys, action always re rewards the bold. You would not know what rewards you'll get for your action. Just like the Zion train in your life coming through, it always arrives. And you just be on time, show up and take up business.
Alright people. Speak to you soon. Camera pointed at you. Have you got any wise things to say to my people? This Good one. Thing. My camera says, feed me attention. <laughs> you know, attention is the most valuable thing right now. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey, this is a new year. I hope you are prepared for the new year. What plans have you got? You know, content, content, content is all that you have to think about. If you haven't started my channel, think about it because you're gonna have children, and these children might even want to join YouTube. And if you start it for them, uh, they're gonna appreciate it in the future because all you can do is to grow, grow, grow. Let's say you're 60 years and you start a YouTube channel. In fact, I'm impressed by one man who is almost 60 or something, 60. maybe he's around maybe younger or older, but he really dances for the channel. And it doesn't matter your age, you can start it. You can start, you can grow. Who cares what you talk about? It's your life. Life is too short. Leave, leave some mark behind, you know? Leave something behind. People will look and say, oh, I know he or she was a loser, but look, she's, she's, she has left something behind, she has left her. what happens when you don't pay attention when you touch out how about this
than one student. I don't think this is allowed. What? I had them one day announcing that what is not allowed. The, the cigarette. It's not a cigarette. It's a vape. Yeah. It's not smoking. I had them announcing one time. If not, they would have it everywhere. Even tricycle, this tri the, the cycle things, mm. they don't allow. That I understand. Well, everything is up for testing. I'm a YouTuber. We are changing the world. <laughs> the, the day that I get stopped by, I tell everybody, oh, you know, by the way, you can't do this on the trains. I know. But I'm the test. I'm the test for freedom. Why is it? I know what I touched. Just for freedom. Hello.
Go to the side and let me up. Yeah. 
So what's happening then? That's why you should talk to me rather than just wander off. It's, I could see you. Just stand, stand where you are. I could see you. Just stand where you are before you go wandering off again. Yeah. I thought you'd have known this. Welcome.
Central Line, Oxford Street. One more stop. We get to Oxford Circus, right? And walk to Oxford Street, yeah? Yeah, but if we start in Marble Lodge, it's much better, isn't it? So why don't one stop? Two more stops. Oh, yeah, one stop. Two stops. Okay. Rather best if we went past uh, a quarries and you could pick one up from there. The storage, yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about.
That's the right way. That's it. to put up with silence, huh? Yeah, with that with music. Give them company. But you don't talk to strangers, they look at you like you're a weirdo. What's this weirdo talking to me for? Uh, Do you mean this goes to Shepherd Bush train station? Yes, yeah, going to Shepherd. It does. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask the same thing? Uh, yeah. Uh, Westfield. Westfield. Thank you.